it's Melody here. Welcome to Author Nation, your go-to resource for everything you need to be a successful non-fiction author, from planning right through to promotion and everything in between. And in this video, I'm going to answer the question, do I need a plan to write a book? That's like asking, do I need a plan to go on vacation or should I just turn up at the airport? So take a moment, imagine yourself just turning up at the airport. Get that image in your head. What does it look like? Do you have your passport? Oh, you do have your passport. Do you have a suitcase? Have you brought a winter coat or a bathing suit? So unless you've come up to the airport with nothing but the clothes on your back, you actually have a plan, at least an inkling of a plan. If you have your passport and a suitcase with a bathing suit in it, you've planned somewhere warm rather than somewhere very cold. You may not have anything written down, you don't have a ticket, you don't have an itinerary, but you do have a plan. And so writing a book is very much like that. Some people have a plan in their head and other people have a complete written plan on paper. Turn that into writing a book. Do you need a plan? Yes. If you're gonna show up at the airport with nothing but the clothing on your back, you're not gonna get very far. At least you're not gonna leave the country. Same with a book. If you just sit down with pen and paper and just start writing haphazardly, you're not gonna write a book. So have a plan, even a loose plan to keep you on track. The difference between planners and pansters is the complexity of their plan and the level of success they achieve. Pansters, you know them, those who fly by the seat of their pants, they still actually have a plan. It's just that they, it lives in their head. They haven't taken the time to write it down and think it through clearly before they start writing, which can be a dangerous thing. In preparing for battle, I have always found that plans are useless, but planning is indispensable. Eisenhower said that, and it's true. Even if you write a plan, the plan may go out the window, but the planning process is immeasurably valuable. My plans never go according to, well, the plan, but the process of planning has been one of the most valuable tools in my toolbox. It makes me think, forces me to organize my ideas. It gives me a guide to follow. It sets standards, it keeps me on track. It speeds up the process because I know what to do now, I know what to do next. There's no fudging around trying to figure out what's to come next. It reduces the amount of energy I expend. A plan provides motivation. Do you want to arrive in the subarctic with no coat? A tropical island in the middle of nowhere without a swimsuit. Without a plan, you are a ship attempting to manage the waves as each one hits your bow. Do you need a plan? Yes. If you want to produce, publish, and promote a professional book, start with a plan. Even if it is a one-page plan written down, start with a written down plan. Plan in a way that makes you think, makes you organize your ideas, provides motivation and keeps you on track. So are you working on planning a book? In the description, you'll find a link for a planning checklist. Grab that to get started. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, leave a question or a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And if you'd like more, please subscribe.